visuals, welcome back to the channel. Well, you're probably thinking, why is, why is he starting off like that? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Superhero Wednesday. And I'm in, I'm in absolute disarray. Why? Because I've just got a fucking pen mark on the fucking Dragon Ball Z baseball jersey. And not, oh, I hope to God that shit comes out. It's Sharpie. Please, Sharpie, please be so washable. I love you as a company. I love to doodle with you. Your, your pens smell great. I might be addicted to sniffing them. Hello, visuals. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Superhero Wednesday. The day of the week we talk about anything weird and wacky and nerdy and mental and crazy. And if you're a big old freaky, weird, lovely, epic nerd, then you're winning at life. And you're going to enjoy the shit we talk about here. Funko Pops, Game Reviews, Lego stuff, and more importantly, comic book reviews. We're back with another comic book review, and this time it's for Dirtly Neighborhood Spider-Man. This comic's been out for a little couple of weeks, a little couple of weeks, a few weeks now, um, but... And we've had like the Gotham Knights review and stuff to do. Uh, we did, I think we did, did the Black Adam Funko Pop series. I don't know what time it is at the minute. Um, I think as well, issue two of this might already be out. But this was a comic a book at series. I think it's going to be six parts that I could not, not review on the channel. It's going to be spoiler free because yet again, I'm awful at reviewing these. Oh, so, so friggin' awful at reviewing comic books because I just, I, I don't feel like I give enough in a spoiler-free review and then I just start spoiling it and still call it, call it spoiler-free. But regardless, I'm going to try so hard not to spoil it because there's another book I want you guys to read if, if you want to. Um, but the whole name itself sold me straight away, Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. That straight away intrigued me and I thought, okay, I'm going to read this, I'm going to read it again and we're going to review it and do like a weird burp yawn thing and review it for the visuals because wow wow i love this issue one of the deadly what's well, not even the just deadly neighborhood of spider-man uh you can probably see on the cover we've got some can you see we've got some scarlet spider shenanigans going down there we've got uh, okay we've got some wolverine shit in the background uh there's, who the fuck is that? That's just monstrous shit. Some of the faces you can't even make out. This cap shield. There's a lot of shit going on there. The Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. What could this be all be? What could this be all be? What could this all be about then? Basically, visuals. This, come, I am going to show you a couple of panels just because the artwork in it. Straight away, in fact, we'll go for that first because it's an easy thing to review and it's something I'm always super positive on because I'm, I'm just a positive kind of guy. What's going on with that fucking sleeve? Roll down. Artwork in this, especially when we get to what I'm going to call nightmare sequences, were absolutely fucking nuts. Okay, it's how the comic starts, I'm going to show you. But just look at this for a version of Spider-Man. Just look at the scary eyes, the, the menacing twirls that we get, the, the scary spider symbol, the, the weird proper spider-looking sort of hand claws he's got going on. Everything about it just screams scary and fucked up and crazy and minging. And what a weird roller coaster and ride we're going to go on and this story. Um, This is... We're not going into too much detail about the, the the story without giving away too much. It's a somewhat battle of Peter and his mind and his his mind and psyche as both Peter Parker and Spider Man and you know his dealings with. But you could, I guess, you could argue sort of like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, it's the whole thing about you know being in a dream and um, uh, find out you know is, is this dream reality? Is it not really reality? Is it happening? Is it not happening? And all the weird challenges we go on with, like, like look at this. If this is a Spider-Man comic, just look how fucking... Obviously, I'm not going to try and reference and show too much about what's going on here. Um, loads of weird shenanigans because uh, we do know... Let me show you where have we got one. Where have we got one? Uh, we need a normal picture of Spidey from this book. Okay. Oh, just look at that. For, I'm, I know I said spoiler free, but look at that. You're telling me that wouldn't make for a fucking beautiful poster. Just look at the claws and the eyes and the, the demonic look behind it. Have a spoiler before I show you an old Peter. Look at the disgustingness you get in here. Just like, look at that, look at the... Okay, that's the only spoiler you're getting. Okay, one more look. I'm so bad at these. Um, but the, the, for the contrast between that and the whole nightmare, Peter, and how he sees himself to the... Where the fuck's the no... Ah, oh, just look at more of the weird, definitely fucking evil... The cover for issue two looks fucking crazy as well. Oh, there we go, there we go. Normal, normal P.E. doing his normal Peter Spider-Man shenanigans. But this, this was a massive whirlwind because, like I said, it's all about... Him working out what's reality and what isn't reality. The whole dream stuff. What feels real and shit. Everything that goes in between. Um, we do get a nice big cliffhanger. We get some crazy weird animal monster battles in here. Because obviously it's monsters that would go up against potentially. Well one of them maybe wouldn't. But uh, would go up against a spider and he sort of sees them. Um, 
uh, on the same sort of size and, and stuff. We get a big giant fucking bear. I'm going to put that in there as well. A big massive giant bear. Loads of weird, creepy, deformed creatures. Um, a different place of Peter and Spider-Man doing his thing. Not in the same place we would expect him to do. Fuck, that sounds so mentally stupid um, without spoiling it. Really go on an artistic, um, visually crazily stupidly beautiful look at this new uh, dynamic and new way of taking a spider and a spider story we, we get this crazy weird world of nightmares and chaos and monsters and and carnage and havoc and and basically horror it's probably it's probably safe to call it a horror spider-man story a spider-man horror story the thing that's the, one of the, the the best things you could probably call it it's just fucking goddamn beautiful and the covers are made i'm going to show you the cover as well for issue two like like look at that like we can see a maze which you'd assume the maze is like a, the, the maze of his mind and whatnot and what's really going on and trying to work his way out but then just look at that massive fucking badass at the back how fucking scary is that um but visuals that i, I, I will at the, uh, the 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 watch advert so uh, super titanium strength of rather it be uh vibranium <laughs> But yeah, visuals, uh, the story is outstanding. The artwork is fucking exquisite. And I don't use that word because I'm a fucking moron. And uh, yeah, the, yeah, the story we go down is just crazy. This new, well, new, I say new look because it's not going to be a look that probably won't stick around for ages. I hope we get Funko Pops and action figures of this. But a, a new look at this just absolutely fucking gorgeous, outstanding, amazing, menacing, scary, deformed, creepy Spider-Man. Um, I think this actually came out just before Halloween, so it fits the tone. But visuals, Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man, a billion out of ten. And I cannot wait to see what happens next. And hopefully, you want a review for issue two. And please let me know how well I reviewed this book. I really, I really, really, really enjoy the dynamic of... We even, uh, Peter even says it, you know, he's, he's fought dream-related stuff before. But this one's different. You know, it feels like it's real life and all that kind of stuff. And we all, I just want to know what's going on. Why is he looking like this? Why, what's going on? Why is there all these weird monsters and shit? What kind of crazy mess are we, have we got our poor little Peter in this time? Like, Why is he always getting the shit? Hey, you have it, visuals. A billion out of ten. Deadly Nerdwood Spider-Man. Issue one. Spoiler-free review in the bag. We'll be definitely be doing an issue number two. So, visuals, thank you so much for watching. watching. Thank you so much for watching. watching. Rose, keep being you and keep on web slinging on menacing style because he's menacing, buddy, bad guy. J. John James was right. He's a, he's a menace.